What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is HC Monster, and today I'm going to be showing you a little Spelunky secret. Uh, last night, the Pro HUD update came out for Spelunky. For those that don't know about it, they changed the way that the uh, the HUD looks like. Not the, user, not the user interface, but the actual HUD itself, you know, where you see your score, your ropes, your bombs, and your health and stuff. Uh, they changed it so that it takes up a little bit less screen, although if you do like the original original look, it is not something that you're forced to do. You can opt into changing it in the settings by going to Options right here, then going down to Graphics and Pro HUD, HUD style right there. Currently there are two options, Standard and Pro, and I'm assuming sometime in the future they will add more options because why not? But that is not the secret that I wanted to show you. The secret that I wanted to show you is that along with the Pro HUD update that came a secret Danzel. As you all know, we have the the beautiful lady person, the dog that people like to call Monty or Rufus, depending on who your favorite spelunkers are. And we have the dude that looks like a stripper. Although I don't know very many people that use him, we have something secret now. Uh, it is a sloth. Currently being debated on is what the name should be called. My my vote is personally on Charleston. I think it sounds the best. <clears throat> so here's how you get it. It is really simple. Nothing nothing extravagant that you need to do in game. You need to go back to your options, go into settings where you see all of the things, all of them. Does she have a black eye? I just realized that. That's terrible. But you click on the dog. And you just keep clicking, you'll hear a bunch of dog sounds, and eventually you'll hear the sound that Spelunky uses to let you know that you've unlocked like the black market and stuff. You just keep going. Uh, your finger might get tired, mine's getting a little tired. This is going to take a second, hopefully. It'll work. You can just keep going, and BAM! Adorable, adorable little sloth man. You see it also changes the sloth right here, and this is the sound that the sloth makes, sort of like a ring ring. Okay, I'll show you what this what this bad boy looks like in game. <clears throat> I would also like to point out that all credit to this video goes to Bananasaurus Rex. I saw him do this on his live stream, and I was amazed because I had no idea. Let's go ahead and real quick find this Danzel so you can see it. Oh, I hear it, and it sounds adorable. Look at this cute little sloth man. Oh, dang it. Well, I mean, we'll just go to the next level. Find him there. You'll get to see the pro HUD more. What does he do when you... Oh, he licks you. That's adorable. <coughs> As for the pro HUD, I guess, as people, for those that might not know about it, your health, your bombs, and your ropes are up here in case you, you know, didn't put two and two together and you couldn't see the pictures of the health, the bombs, and the ropes. Your score is on this side. Your time. I really like this. This is pretty cool. Although I'm not not very big on speedrunning Spelunky because, you know, well, I'm not that good. But your time, your time for the level that you're on and your overall time are shown right here. The level that you are on is also pretty nice for doing score runs, which is what I mainly do. And your score is right here. Let's go ahead and find the, the dude. And this time, let's not put him in a doorway. You have, ooh, you have a jetpack. Let's, I'm not going to bother with you. I'm on a mission, and that is to find sloths. Aha. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at him. Let's go up here. Take him somewhere where he won't be in the door. As you can see, the walking that he does is sort of like the caveman. Um in the sense that it's really primitive looking. Not very much uh, slow, like you would expect a sloth to be, because I, you know, I was expecting it to be uh, much slower. What uh, what else could we do? I guess we could sacrifice him and see if that does anything interesting. Um, there is a rumor that he tries to mess with you if you anger him. So I don't know, I don't know how true that is. I haven't, it hasn't happened to me yet. But I'm sure at some point somebody will will have that happen. Let's go ahead and sacrifice him and conclude the video like that. I don't think we'll get anything special since he is technically a Danzel, not necessarily a, uh, um, not an NPC, but you know what I'm talking about? Like the people that help you out, the mercenaries, you know? It's not technically one of those. It is a Danzel, so I don't think that it would actually uh, mess with you in the sense that the robot or something would try to mess with you. And we turned our sloth into climbing mitts. 
seems like a a huge ripoff. Kali, you are you did it again. Oh Jesus. Oh, leap spiders. Probably going to die. Nope. Anyway, that concludes the video. If you guys enjoyed, uh, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me your thoughts. You know, any way that I can improve. You know, I always like constructive criticism. We're not going to pick those climbing gloves up because, you know, the sloth was way cooler than climbing gloves. He deserved better than that. He should have been a teleporter or something. Anyway, um, if you liked the video, uh, as I said, be sure to leave a thing in the comment area. Let me know what you thought, what I can improve on, anything of the general sorts. Hell, you could leave a comment about peanut butter and I think it would be pretty okay. Anyway, that is the video.